Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to the vlog. This isn't a vlog. I just am used to saying that. <laughs> anyway, hi. I can't. My name is Danny. If you don't know me, today I'm doing a Q&A. I do a lot of Q&As just because I feel like my channel is largely based around my personal life. I feel like I'm always talking about stuff that nobody asked for. So this time, everybody did ask. I'm just gonna talk and answer these random ass questions. They have no category. It's just whatever you guys wanted to ask. I actually specifically said not normal questions, please. So hopefully that happens, but. We'll see. First question is a great one to start off with and it's just, how is life? If you've been watching my vlogs, you probably already know, but I'll tell anybody who doesn't pay attention because I get so many DMs saying, oh, did you move to California? Oh, asking me all these questions that I literally answer in my vlog. So apparently a bunch of you guys are fake as hell and don't watch all my videos, but if you don't know, uh, I'm in California. I've been here for like a month now and I'm going to be here for a while. Since we don't have a whole lot like tying us back home, I guess you could say, like not a lot of responsibility back there. We're just gonna stay here as long as we want. So probably till December, that's the guess. But I'm doing really good. It was kind of weird for a while because I didn't really know what I was doing here. I just mean like I didn't have a routine, you know? I didn't have like, I don't have friends here to hang out or anything like that. I'm just chilling in Emmett's family's house hanging out and it's really fun. But for a minute it was like, okay, am I like here, here or am I like, vacationing or am I like, you know, sleeping on someone's couch temporarily. Like it was a really weird thing. Like you guys know when you don't know what's gonna happen in the future so you don't really know how to live your life. Like you don't wanna like get too comfortable in a routine because you don't know if you're gonna be here for a long time. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm doing really good here. I'm having a great time. We're gonna go to LA again soon and I keep thinking about that. I think about that every day. Like I seriously cannot wait to go back to LA just cause it's so fun. Okay, next question. If you could live in any country, no visa problems, where would it be? I thought this would be fun. I wanna live in one of the European countries like Sweden or Denmark, Norway, I think it is. Just one of those places where they like have free healthcare and stuff, just cause I'd love to see what it's like. A lot of people say that it's a really great place to live. The only reason I wouldn't actually move there is because it's so cold there. So like if there was a warmer country that has really good government programs and really happy people, maybe like, I don't know if they have really good government programs, but Costa Rica is really nice. I don't know. I would probably move to somewhere in Europe that has a nice government because I really want to see what that's like because I've never seen it. How do you stay in shape? Wonderful question. Uh, I thought I would answer this just to explain I don't. I just exist and sometimes I gain weight and sometimes I lose weight. I don't think that it's a good mindset for life to like constantly be thinking about staying in shape, especially if it's for like a visual purpose. My personal philosophy is it's best to just try and be healthy as best as you can. And you're probably gonna look a certain way if you're healthy and that's just the way it is, but everybody's healthy looks different. <laughs> My questions always turn into advice, but I just wanted to answer this to like share that I think it's important to prioritize health over looking a certain way. So I don't try to stay in shape. I do want to work out just because I know it's good for you and it lengthens your life, but I don't know. I try and eat well and I try to avoid dairy. Mm. Where did y'all go for your honeymoon? I wanted to answer this because we didn't go on a honeymoon. We didn't have a honeymoon. Emma and I got married last December. Oh my God, it's been almost a year. That's so weird. It's been almost a year. It was Christmas time right after we got married on December 18th. So it was literally Christmas like seven days after. And we weren't planning on going on honeymoon anyway because we weren't like, you know, some rich 19 year old couple who has money to spend on a honeymoon. We still aren't. So, so we didn't go on one and we haven't. I don't think we're going to. I feel like there's no point in saying you're going on a honeymoon because we've already gotten married. Like we've been on lots of trips, but none of them have been like specifically honeymoon trips, I guess you could say. Mm, great question. How you arrived at your political standpoint. A lot of people ask me that. I think most of you know by now I've had quite the evolution just from growing up being, I guess, a Republican. I don't know, I was a child, so I really can't classify my beliefs as anything, but I definitely thought that I was a Republican for a really long time. I did like Trump when he was being elected the first time. I was kind of a racist. Not like intentionally, that sounds bad. I mean, it was bad. I, I wasn't aware, I wasn't educated. I didn't really know what I was talking about. I made a 180 degree turn to something different and and now I'm like, a, I don't know, it doesn't matter what I class myself as, but I definitely voted for Joe Biden and I really don't like Trump. And I honestly lean more towards like a democratic socialist now. It's really a complete change and a lot of people wanna know how I got there. There's a lot of reasons why. Honestly, it was just education and I feel like that's a really common story. Like not everybody, cause there's a lot of very, very smart Republicans obviously and a lot of very stupid Democrats and vice versa. But I know that I've heard a lot of stories of people who believed very strongly on the right side of things and right as in like conservative and then started to learn more about science or about racial issues or about 
about the government or healthcare, whatever it is, poverty, etc. And then shifted to like a liberal side of things. And I think that's just exactly what happened to me. I just really wanted to know how we can best help people with political policies, I guess, because that's what it's all about, right? Like arguing with your friends is not, there's no point to that. There's no reason to do that. That's not the reason why we have political beliefs. Like the reason is because you want to elect officials who would actually help the citizens of America or wherever you live. I guess I just wanted to know like, how can I support people who are best going to help the people who are less fortunate, the marginalized communities, just like people who really need it because realistically my life hasn't changed at all. And there's been lots of different types of presidents. I was just trying to be uh, more selfless, I guess, with my political view. And I ended up being at the point that I'm at now. So I don't know. It was really just an evolution of my character, I guess. There's a lot, a lot of reasons. It was mainly, I would say just education and personal growth. And I kind of just realized like, I always had this thing, like, I just want to help people. Like, I just want to know how these people can get what they deserve, not like, all this stuff people say is like a privilege, not a right. Like I just wanted everything to be a, a right, not a privilege. And so I guess that's how I ended up where I am. Have you ever considered waiting till marriage and why didn't you do it? I wanted to tell you guys, I just did a video about this. So I'm not gonna answer it right now cause I already talked about it. So if you wanna hear about this, go to the link in my description. It'll be down there. I made a whole video about this. So there's my answer. Mm. Love this question. What is your favorite period products? Love that for me. I would say favorite things are definitely a menstrual cup. That's just a necessity. I got this device called the Ovira and it's like a pain reliever device for cramps and it's really awesome. And I don't think I have any other products that I use. So that's it. Nearing my last question is what is your stance on abortion? Again, these these topics are just switching back and forth, back and forth, but I don't care. Um, again, I used to be very different in my perspectives. So I used to be very pro-life. I went to a pro-life march and I was very anti-abortion because I was very religious. You know, that's obviously what a lot of religious people believe. And it's not that I'm pro-abortion necessarily now. Some people think I'm super pro-choice and some people think I'm super pro-life. I like to think I am both. <laughs> I think that I have acknowledged the fact that nobody really wants an abortion. Like nobody's like, oh my God, I'm so lazy. I just just need to get an abortion right now. And then they get it in five minutes and then it's over and they don't think about it ever again. Like, I don't think most circumstances are like that. I think most of the time it's very difficult and it's because of unforeseen circumstances. And the reason for it is a effect of the systems of our country and how there's so much poverty and people who don't have the resources they need or the education that they need. So I'm definitely not a uh, pro-life per se because the pro-life perspective is just to make it illegal. Based on my research and what I've learned and being a Christian and whatever, all that stuff, actually not even being a Christian, just removing being a Christian from it entirely, I would say I am pro-choice with an emphasis on education and policies that actually prevent abortion because making it illegal doesn't do anything. It doesn't help anybody. It hurts a lot of women and causes people to get back alley dangerous abortions that will kill them and hurt them. So I would rather it be available along with the resources on how to not have unwanted pregnancy with better healthcare, better, better wages, better just life circumstances, I guess, for people who don't have it right now and the people who feel like they need abortions. First of all, it's not up to the government to legislate what people do that intensely, like with their own body, because I just, I don't think that's okay. But also on top of that, I, I know that that doesn't help. Like it's been proven that making it illegal does not help. I don't think that I'm like super pro abortion. I don't think anybody really is because I think it's hard for everybody, but I'm also not anti-choice because that's wrong. <laughs> Do with it what you will. Okay guys, I decided I'm just gonna do a rapid fire round of questions. I didn't find anything that I really wanted to talk about for a long time, so this is just gonna be really quick. Workout routine? I don't have one. Are you Catholic? No. What color is your toothbrush? Uh, green. How many children do you wanna have? Probably like four. Thoughts on drugs? I don't know. Last question, do you wet your toothbrush before putting on toothpaste? No, I put toothpaste on and then I wet my toothbrush. All right, those are my questions. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be doing many more Q and A's in the future. So thanks for playing, thanks for participating. Again, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100K, 100K. Please subscribe because I need you to. I don't need you to, I just really want you to. It'd be really nice. Goodbye.